So on Friday, we did an investigation on a mystery liquid and two different metal rods. And in order to figure out what those three things actually are, you're going to need to figure out their density. Density is a characteristic property. So what that means is that no matter how much is present, so I can cut those metal rods in half, it will always have the same density. It's basically like how compact the substance is, how much stuff is crammed into a specific space. So density equals mass divided by volume. So in order to find the density, you're going to take the mass that you found and divide it by the volume that you found. We measured mass on the triple beam balance, and you'll notice that we went to the hundredths place because that's the um, the precision that we go to, it reads to the tenth, so we guesstimate that one extra placeholder. And we measured volume using a graduated cylinder. And if you use the bigger graduated cylinders, they should have been to the tenths place. If you use a ruler, you're usually measuring a solid and you're doing the whole length times width times height. You may have noticed that um, I've been using milliliters and cubic centimeters kind of interchangeably or in place of one another. And that's because they're essentially the same thing. If you go to a hospital and they say, give me 50 cc's of something, that just means cubic centimeters. And it's a fancy way of saying milliliters. Usually we'll use milliliters in terms of liquids and usually we'll use cubic centimeters in terms of solids, but they really do um, they really are used interchangeably or in place of one another. So I'm not very good at word problems, and we already know that I'm not very good at math, so I'm going to try and do this the easiest way in a three-step process. If you don't already, grab a highlighter or a pen so that you can underline things on your notes. Just pause me and then come back. So step one, we're going to highlight important information and label what it's measuring. And then we also want to label and highlight what we're going to be solving for. Step two, we're going to plug in the values that we have into either the density equation or the visual. I personally like the visual because sometimes when you plug into the density equation, you have to rearrange it in order to figure out the missing variable. And for me, that just adds more, more space for error. So that's why I use the visual. Um, step three, we're going to solve the equation using math, usually multiplication or division. Here's the visual. So up here we have mass. That's what the M stands for. And this long line across is the division symbol. So basically, if you have a fraction, think of it, the top number divided by the bottom number gives you what the fraction is as a decimal. So this long line just means to divide. And when two different uh, variables are next to each other, that means that you multiply them. So in this visual, density is multiplied by volume, and that's in order to find mass. If you're using this visual, usually if you want to rearrange the equation, you also will just cover up the one that you're looking for. So say it says, what is the density of? You cover up the D, and it says that the equation is going to be mass divided by volume. If you're looking for volume, the equation would be mass divided by density. If you're looking for mass, the equation would be density whoops, times volume. So the first practice problem we're going to do says, what is the density of an object with a mass of 120 grams and a volume of 7 milliliters? So the first step that we talked about was to highlight or underline, circle, whatever, the important information that we're given and to label what exactly it's measuring. So I've highlighted mass of 120 grams and volume of 7 milliliters. It's also important to know what you're looking for. We're looking for the density in this case. The second step is to plug in your values into the density equation and or the visual. I personally like the visual. So I'd put mass of 120 grams, so just 120, up at the very tippy top of that circle. In the lower right hand corner, I'm going to put 7 milliliters. And then density will be what I'm looking for. So essentially your equation is going to be mass divided by volume as shown here in order to find density. The answer that you should get, 17.14 grams per milliliter. So we'll talk a little bit about, a little more about why the units are what they are for density, um, but just 
a quick guide. We took mass, which is in grams, and we divided by volume, which was in milliliters. And the only way that you can cancel out units is if you have the same units on the top and the bottom, which in this case we didn't. So it remains grams per milliliter, or grams divided by milliliters. That's how we get the units for density. So here's the visual once again. And the next problem says, what is the mass of an object with a density of 620 grams per cubic centimeter and a volume of 75 cubic centimeters? If this problem said volume of 75 milliliters, we could still do it because a cubic centimeter and a milliliter are the exact same thing. So first we're going to highlight the important information and label what it is describing. So we have density 620 grams per cubic centimeter. So I would write 620 in the lower left hand corner of the visual. And I'd write 75 in the lower right hand corner. Because they're next to each other, this means that we're going to end up multiplying them. And we are going to be looking for mass. So our equation is mass equals density times volume. So 620 times 75, your answer should be 46,500 grams. You'll notice down here that on the top and bottom of an equation, we have cubic centimeters. That's why they, those units disappeared and left us with grams for mass. When we take 620 gram cubic centimeters over cubic centimeters, they cancel each other out. What's on the top and the bottom, if they're the same, you can cancel it out. If you have any questions on anything we went over, write it on the back and we can go over them um, in class tomorrow or before class. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow.